it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today we're on a map that is newer. Um, I'm just playing it for the first time, and uh, it is called Oregon Springs. I found it on LS 2015. Uh, I know I've seen stuff about it before, uh, I just never downloaded it. <coughs> um, but saw it on LS15 and thought, well, I'll go ahead and download it. And uh, got in. Uh, the map does not have soil mod, which, you know, it's okay, I guess. It's kind of nice, you know, once in a while to have a map without soil mod on it. Um, but, yeah, so you start off, every field is planted. And so I went ahead and cheated in money and uh, bought every field. And now I'm just kind of going through harvesting everything. So starting off with uh, the potatoes here. Uh, and then move on to sugar beets. And then on to the other crops. Uh, I have not done sugar beets or potatoes probably since I got the game. Um, I just, I never do it. The only time I ever do it is... For beef or for pigs and I very rarely do pigs so I normally don't uh, don't need it but figured why not uh, it's here and ready so might as well uh, just go ahead and do it I guess so we are running two grimy uh, tektrons they're just the in-game things uh, and then I'm running a uh, New Holland T9 450 real tree camo with the Oxbow dump wagon. And then the uh, Kenworth T800 high hood is running the um, uh, unlimited modding belt trailer. So this will fill this truck and then we'll go ahead and take that to the farm. Yeah, this thing unloads very, very fast, which is kind of nice. Alright, so we'll get that to lower down. Uh, another thing that we also have in is uh, the 82K30 and my fuel trailer, uh, mainly for damage repair stuff. But, yeah, um, 9, that's the one I need. Okay, let's get that covered. So we have 82,500 liter capacity on this trailer. So that is a whole lot of sugar, or a whole lot of potatoes that we are hauling to the farm. Uh, the farm is right by this field, luckily, so uh, we don't have that far of a haul. I wish I could set course play up to do this truck, but uh, as you guys will see here in a moment, the way that the potato storage is set up uh, will not allow me to do that. You'll see uh, once we get up to the farmyard here why I can't uh, set up course play. Oops, getting off the road a little bit. Okay, this is our farm. Not a whole lot. Bins. Couple shops, a house, and then here are the sugar beet and potato areas. So that one there is sugar beets, and this one here is potatoes. And uh, you have to back in, so that's why course play is not an option in this situation. And uh, I'm pretty sure that the maybe the oxbow would work. I'm not sure. But, uh, oops, wrong button. But I just don't feel like putting that on course play as well. See, we got some uh, old conveyors and stuff here. 
kind of a neat system. So let's just see here. How does this all look under here? So there's three huge piles, huh? And one truckload pretty much does a pile. Okay. So now we are working on that pile there. Okay, let's get out of here and uh, head back over so we can finish unloading the oxbow and then get uh, the grimmies unloaded. So there are four fields of potatoes. Fields 1, 11, 6, and 7. So like I said, just starting off with the... Uh, with the potatoes and then move on to the sugar beets and then probably to corn and then uh, canola, wheat, barley, whatever. Alright, so we'll pull right up next to the oxbow here. We'll hop back in this guy, get this tipping up. I would like to redo this thing, uh, make it uh, work with dirt, give it new AO textures, and uh, maybe look at scripting it as well. Uh oh, now we're going to have problems. Yeah, because this thing, I, it's, it has a lot of issues. And it has since uh, since it first came out. Well, I guess really there's only one version of this thing out. So, the uh, buggy version is the only version. So, you know, just kind of work out its scripting a little more and get it uh, get it working and looking good again. Alright, so that other one should stop back there a little ways or somewhere. So we'll definitely have a lot of uh, potatoes and sugar beets and crop in general. Um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of acreage here. A lot of fields. Okay, there we go. There's that one unloaded. I'll run down here and unload this one. Then we'll unload this again. See, I did say that today you would have a uh, Giants Editor video, but uh, I really just don't feel like working on my map right now, so um, not today, I guess. Uh, I might do it again, or might do it uh, later this week or next week or something, I don't know. But uh, just, just don't feel like it, so... Go. Definitely unloads fast. And it goes down a whole lot slower than it goes up, I think. It's slow both ways, though. Okay, we'll go ahead and... Let's see. Let's unload this guy back here. He's... More full than that guy is. This guy here is 51%. The only other one's only 26. So, whoa. There we go. Now we're out of his way. <clears throat> so we'll just unload until. Uh, the oxbow here is 50% full, and then go fill it off, fill it up from the other guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm really, really liking this uh, new Real Daylight uh, that Serious Mods released, uh, version 2 of it. It's definitely a lot more realistic now. A lot better. A lot nicer looking, too. I think we can turn off the map now. Oops. There we go. Good enough. Now we'll go uh, fill up using the other harvester. So I guess there is forestry on this map as well. So we might get into that later as well. You never know. Change this guy. Oops. Is that he? No, I did not. Okay. That's why he is acting goofy when he's turning. Forgot to turn off the uh, no reverse. Because I want him to back up when uh, turning. Alright, so we'll go ahead and fill up. Uh, the rest of the way from this one. Ooh, I'm going way too slow. There we go. Get everything brought back up. I guess this thing does have dirt on it. Hmm. I didn't think that it did. Okay, this guy is going to try and be dumb here. So now we'll just go ahead and take over here for a sec. It's definitely nice that these things can just spin around like this. There we go. Oopsie. I take it, uh, no it does not. Figured as much. I have to manually lower it, otherwise hired. Otherwise, auto combine will not. Ooh, whoopsie. That was not good. Let's get this guy out of that one's way. Now they're a little bit too close for my liking, but oh well. Such is life, I guess. There we go. Full load. Ooh. Got a little close there. Thought I was going to take it out. truck is getting all filled up now. In fact, I think it's actually going to be full. Oh, so close to full. Okay, we will we'll unload what uh, this 
what this harvester's got in it, and then top off the truck. Now they'll get a little farther apart now, um, because the other one is at 70%, so... Sounds like uh, the city might be plowing snow again. And here's something with a backup beeper going. There we go. Alright. Truck is topped off. Let's head out. So the rear harvester is going to fill while we're gone and then the front one might so I think what we'll do is once we get there get this thing unloading we'll quick jump over to the tractor and uh, <clears throat> head over unload that rear one so that they don't get too terribly far apart I want them to be apart but not one on one end of the field and the other on the other end that would just be way too, uh, way too much. Maybe too far apart then. This is definitely tight getting in here. Wish he had made it uh, a little bit bigger, but... Otherwise, it's a really, really awesome map. Definitely uh, worth checking it out. Uh, I got it on ls2015.com uh, You can also just go to Google and put in FS15 Oregon Springs and it'll come up then Let's get everything shut down again and Okay, let's hop over to here We'll run up and get him unloaded. Hopefully, he can make it before he fills. I don't know, this is going to be a close one. We'll just drive over a little bit of the potatoes. No big deal. Ooh, and we made it. Oh, I thought I made it there. So close. So close, it's so far. Yeah, that's good enough. And we'll go fill this thing with the rest of this harvester here, and we'll be set to go. And we'll get the truck back. There we go. Full. I don't know how they created those spikes right there, but, or whatever you'd call it. We should have quite a lot of potatoes right now. 173,000. We haven't even finished the field. Definitely going to be some uh, seven digit numbers here for crop amounts on pretty much everything. There'll definitely be a lot of selling. That's for sure. Selling will be able to have uh, course play running, so that'll be nice. 
I can run one truck, of course Blake can run the other and can get a lot of stuff sold then. Alright, let's get this thing going up. I know it's not realistic, because in real life you'd be dumping potatoes already, but it's farm sim and you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Oh, the dynamics in that trailer are quite goofy in how they're set up. Alright, finally we're able to just sit for a moment. Um, let me just check on this. Nine minutes. Yep, that's still recording. I'm going to go ahead and get my outro pulled up right now. That's ready to go. <clears throat> Evidently he did not want to back up on that one. Excuse me just one second. I'm going to look outside quick. Yep, I thought so. The city is plowing the roads again. It hasn't stopped snowing for like two days. And it's windy, so snow's blowing everywhere. It's ridiculous. Hey, what are you doing? There we go. Alright, so we'll get this guy unloaded. Good to go. So go up here. This guy unloaded. Ooh. <laughs> this is going to be interesting to follow. Oh, maybe not. Not as bad as I thought it would be. And if I do redo this trailer, I think it'd be cool to have a tracked version as well. I think that'd be pretty cool to do. And actually, if I remember correctly, I think this trailer was actually leaked. I don't think it was um, technically released. I think it was leaked or something like that. I can't remember what, it, what the deal with this trailer was. That it was just released and whoever did it just didn't care. Something like that. Don't remember. Okay. Go ahead and fill up. There we go. And we'll get out of here. Get this unloaded again. This is one thing that, you know, not having soil mud, it kind of sucks, is that your, you know, your crop yields are, you know, what they normally are. You know, they're not, they don't vary like they do with soil mud, so that kind of sucks, but it's definitely nice. You don't have to do as much stuff all the time. Yeah, see... What this trailer's deal is. There we go. Now we got an unload trigger.
and then adding like particles you know for when you unload and that kind of thing but otherwise really really nice trailer I enjoy using it I actually didn't I actually deleted it and never used it for quite a while because of the issue that it had but I thought you know, I started the save game and I was all ready to go I'm like you know what I also I sold fields so I also had that issue this is one of those maps where it doesn't like when you sell your starting fields so had to restart anyways I was like you know what I'm gonna go find that oxbow cart again because that would come in handy for this then I wouldn't have to just sit with the truck the whole time so here it is <laughs> um, uh oh there we go We still got another four minutes. Uh oh. What's this guy's deal? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take care of this here. Get rid of this. Okay bump thing The other guy's guys harvesting. I don't know what his deal is. Oops, I forgot to drop that. My bad. Then we'll go ahead and take out this corner here. I'll just kind of run this thing, just kind of do some cleanup here. Make uh, harvesting a little bit easier. You guys here. It's always nicer to have rounded edges because then things kind of run a little smoother. Too far. And we'll go do this corner down here next. Before that guy gets up here. Although he will fill up, so. Hopefully we can get this little round here done before it gets before that guy gets down here. There we go. Now that guy should follow that around if it if it can uh, make it down here before it fills, which doesn't look like it will. I definitely wish that there was more or was some American, you know, potato harvesting equipment. Maybe that's something that I might uh, look into making in the future. Because I think, uh, I can't remember if it's potatoes or sugar beets. Um, 
my uncle works at a seed farm and they harvest either potatoes or sugar beets. I can't remember which one. And it's not far from where my map is based. It's maybe half hour away or so. Something like that. So, you know, they can be done in that area. So I think uh, some American potato equipment would be nice. It would definitely be something that I have never ever done. There's a lot of stuff that I have never ever done yet. But it'd be kind of cool to do. Just run down here. And we'll just kind of straighten this out here as well. Oops. Just going to make this nice and straight. And we'll turn off here. Get this corner. Perfect. filling this thing here in a moment. Alright, there it's full. Okay, so let's go ahead one too far. Go ahead and grab this and we'll get uh, these guys unloaded. I think, yeah, we're just about, I was going to say, I think we're just about done. We are. Alrighty, so off camera, I will finish this field and then get everything parked at the edge of the field, ready to move uh, to the next field tomorrow. So, alrighty guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Check out down below in the descriptions for links to my social medias, my mod site, as well as other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Um, uh oh. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.